Nearly 90% of all flowering plants benefit from animal pollination. Pollinators contribute to more than a third of global food production. Unfortunately, pollinators are facing many threats, including habitat loss, pollution, increased exposure to pesticides, and climate change. In cities, urban farms and gardens can provide habitat for pollinators while promoting food security and engaging communities. Scientists in cities across the globe are working with community partners to help protect pollinators. This is one of many stories connecting people and pollinators. While most people are familiar with the European honeybee, many don't realize that there are more than 20,000 bee species in the world and about 4,500 in North America. And here in Michigan, there's about 465 species. Right here in this small urban farm, I would estimate that there's probably around 50 species, if not more than that. Pollinators are a huge part of the farm here. Without pollinators, we wouldn't have vegetables. It's as simple as that. Urbanization is a growing threat to biodiversity worldwide. And so that's why we're interested in studying wild bees and wild pollinators in urban environments. Honeybees are kind of like the poster child of pollinators. They, they tell the story and get people interested, but the native bees are very unique throughout the regions of the United States and the world. We need to have another campaign for the, for the native bees. Every time I looked through the lens, I could see something different that I had never seen before. Through my partnership with Oakland University, my work gets to be used for educational outreach as well as research. We're working with artists and teachers, urban farmers and gardeners to help bring awareness to the public about native pollinators. The pollinator survey that we did this summer with Oakland University gave the children a wonderful opportunity to get outside and look at things from a scientific perspective. We go there and we show them different things about bees and insects. We were able to look at them close up through the microscope. Kids are really curious about pollinators and about insects in general. The response thus far has been very positive. Kids seem to love learning about bees. They learned about how food grows, where food comes from, our connection to insects, and the insects' connection to human life. Food education should be taught to the children as early as possible. If we want a healthy nation, we must teach them that now. Native bees do such good work, and creating spaces for them to come in and do the work is awesome. Cities are expanding worldwide, potentially putting these bees at risk. Urban farms and gardens provide important habitat for biodiversity, reconnecting people with nature, and protecting pollinators for generations to come.